And the last thing to consider about a knife is its lockup. You know, titanium is a soft steel, but titanium can withstand uh, impacts just like 3V can. Um, and then uh, you, uh, some knives use stainless steel lockups, such as uh, the spider coat. The spider coat uses a stainless steel stop pin, stainless steel lock bar. Uh, this knife here, you know, stop, stainless steel lock bar. Tezula, you know, uh, titanium stop pin, titanium uh, lock bar. And what that basically in the end depends on what the knife's purpose is. If a knife is going to take impacts, you're going to need at least either the blade steel, such as this one, N690, to be a little bit softer. This way, the lock, strong lock bar, something is resisting, you know, taking that impact. Uh, if not, you need, you know, you can get a, a, a blade with a very, you know, I guess you would say a harder steel, uh, such as this, and then have the, the softer lock bar, uh, the titanium, withstand the impacts. For example, here's uh, my S30 you know, good combination blade. Then in, in the stainless example. steel lockup of a paramilitary two and the stainless steel blade, you know, it's not going to handle impacts well. You know, the stainless steel is harder, it could break. But for slicing, you know, that's what this knife is for. For just cutting, uh, it'll last a long time because it, that, that stainless steel will last longer. You know, you look at this outdoor knife, you're intending to chop with it. It's a big blade. This is N690, a softer steel. It's got the stainless steel lockup and stainless steel stop pin, and those are hard, so what's taking the impact? The steel is. And, and that, that com combination uh, creates a, you know, a decent option. But some combinations don't always work out as well, such as when you have a very uh, hard, high-speed tool steel, and then you give it a, a, a titanium lockup that's soft, not hardened, uh, that will wear, the, the tool steel will wear out the titanium. You know, like uh, some combinations that don't make sense is like a, a military, M4 military, it doesn't make sense. Because you have this tool steel with this added toughness, meaning you can withstand impacts. Um, but you, you have a, a, a stainless steel, or you have a, a little stainless steel add-on right here, and you have the stainless steel stop pin. So you, you can't even chop with it because the, the lockup areas don't withstand impact because, you know, they're not titanium. It, and plus, with the M4 steel, you know, it being that's going to rust, you would need to take it apart uh, to maintain it. And these screws can't handle that. This is not the M4 version, this is, but they're, they're constructed the same way. You know. So, in the end, if I was looking at the tool steel family, the Rex, or a AKA M4s, M3s, M's, even the 3Vs and 9Vs with their tool steel. I'm looking at basically molly B denim. Molly B denim meaning I can uh, now I can dry lubricate it, not worry about uh, pitting, you know, not un uneven rusting, and also um, that heat resistance meaning I can do more industrial tasks, consistent cutting, and not worry about that build up of heat, or even worry about the knife around fire. This is the Vim crew. Uh, then I would choose that, especially if I'm in an outdoor settings then. You know, stainless steel matters, 154CM. Uh, that's probably why it's a favorite of tactical custom knife makers because it adds the stainless aspect, but, but also keeps some of that uh, molly B denim, 154 uh, chrome molly mix, uh, CM. And uh, you're getting that, that still that, uh, that heat resistance a little bit uh, and added uh, corrosion resistance, not rust, but corrosion. Uh, and, and that's a good choice. And then if I was considering uh, one of the CTS family steels, uh, CTS XHPs or D2s, uh, uh, personally for me, I, I'm not that I'm not too fond of them. Uh, they're they're better. Yeah, you can you can sharpen them. You can you know they don't rust, but uh, overall they don't to me don't do anything specific. And that, that's why maybe you know not as much around D2, um, and it's a little bit lower grade. Uh, and then you have the S30s. Now, if I'm considering an S30V blade, uh, I'm going to look at the, you know, what's the intention. Of course, if the knife is made for just slicing, which usually these design, you know, these designers design them that way, um, then you know, I'm going to know that it has to be something I can maintain, something that can take apart and maintain the blade and screws, because uh, even though it's stainless, it can pit, and and so. And it's going to be hard to sharpen, so if I had to, since these S30s predominantly are just going to be for slicers, uh, then I would rather go up to S90V or CTS20CP because those with the less rockable hardness and the higher vanadium content give me a three times the edge lasting, but make it way easier to sharpen. But again, because of that stainless aspect, I'm going to have to take it apart, so I need to make sure I can maintain my knife. And then if I'm looking at steels, Knives were just, perhaps I just want it to be easy to use. Uh, something like this, you know, a little slip joint to just slice. Or even these little tiny, uh, uh, you know, maybe what I call a little fruit cutter. Or even this outdoor knife. Uh, you know, you don't want to have to have a diamond rod all the time to sharpen your knife. You might need that softer steel, and you don't want to worry about breaking. 
you can go for one of the N690s or the VG10 steel blades. And then last, if you're looking for a knife that holds its edge similar to S90, but you know, I was, in, but it's hard to sharpen. That's the only thing, and and more brittle. Then you're looking at the ZDPs and the carries, which to me are below than these S90s because these S90s and the CTS 20 CP, the AK, the the 420V uh, series, they're better because they 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 are easier to sharpen, less brittle, less alloy in them. You know, two good sites are also. Um, besides uh, the crucible is also Wikipedia's list of blade materials. Type that in. And it'll tell you what all the different metal materials do.